Hello everyone, welcome back to Something Political and welcome to this video on the concept and theory of foreign policy analysis, FPA. We'll explore why states behave as they do and how foreign policy is formulated in this video. Foreign policy analysis, FPA with capital letters, examines the actions and decisions of states and non-state actors in the international arena. It seeks to understand the underlying reasons and processes behind these actions. FPA with capital letters differs from simply observing foreign policy actions, abbreviated as FP with small letters. It delves into the why and how questions. The first key aspect of the FPA is understanding state behavior. FPA analyzes why states and non-state actors behave in specific ways and it seeks to uncover the reasons behind a country's foreign policy decisions. The second key aspect of the FPA can be stated as processes of foreign policy making because it examines how foreign policy is made. This involves looking at the decision-making processes, including who is involved and why certain policies are chosen over others. Let's have a look at the terms in hand. Foreign and policy. Foreign refers to something external to the state, while policy is a plan of action with specific objectives. Thus, foreign policy involves explicit plans of action aimed at achieving objectives in the international domain. But what are the components of FPA? FPA involves both descriptive and analytical studies. Descriptive studies define and describe the foreign policy actions of states and actors, while analytical studies analyze why and how these actions are taken, looking into the decision-making processes and underlying motivations. Another question might be, what is the role of non-state actors? In recent decades, non-state actors have become significant in foreign policy. These include multinational corporations, religious organizations, and social movements. They control important resources and can influence international events. Foreign policy actions are official activities sanctioned by the offices of state and non-state actors. These actions are primarily external, but can also have domestic implications through media and public opinion. This is the official nature of foreign policy. There is a certain human element in foreign policy as well. Individuals and groups are authorized agents such as ministers and presidents who make and implement foreign policy. National security councils and other similar groups can also play critical roles in decision making. Bureaucracy, on the other hand, involves bureaucrats and diplomats who analyze information and provide policy alternatives. They are essential in processing information and suggesting viable policy opinions. Foreign policy has two different kinds of sources. The first one, being domestic sources, include political systems, history and culture, and media and public opinion. In this regard, political systems refer to the structure of a country's political system which influences its foreign policy. Presidential, semi-presidential, and parliamentary systems each impact decision-making differently. History and culture shape foreign policy through context and cultural traits. Understanding a nation's past and cultural identity is crucial for analyzing its foreign policy. Lastly, media and public opinion can significantly influence foreign policy decisions. Interest groups and economic entities also play a role. There are also external sources of foreign policy. International environment, for instance, includes states that operate within a global context influenced by other countries and international actors, and the structure of the international system, including international laws and organizations, shapes foreign policy. International organizations as external sources include entities like WTO, IMF, and NATO, which impact the foreign policies of states, and these organizations create opportunities and constraints for national policies. Foreign policy aims to protect national interests, maintain territorial integrity, and advance prosperity. It also involves protecting national identity abroad, establishing social peace against external threats, contributing to a stable international order, and protecting global commons like the environment. Overall, 
we can say that foreign policy analysis is a multidisciplinary field that bridges politics, economics, sociology, and more. It seeks to understand the complex motivations and processes behind the actions of states and non-state actors in the international arena. By examining both domestic and external factors, FBA provides a comprehensive understanding of global interactions and policymaking. And that wraps up our brief journey into the subject of foreign policy analysis for today. But stay tuned! Join us in our next video as we continue to discover actors in foreign policy. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.